What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can generate thousands and thousands of stubs in MLB The Show. Very easy and the most effective stub making method in the game. If you're new and you enjoy these type of tips and methods and glitches, drop a thumbs up on the video right now. It's free. Let's get into the breakdown. But first, let's hear from my sponsor. If you want to complete every collection super, super fast, head over to my sponsor and use code FAT for 5% off your order. Super fast and reliable. All right, so if you look in the top left corner, you can see I have 975,661 stubs, okay? And then I still have about 350 to 500,000 worth of investments in my inventory but that's not what this video is about but if you want to know more about investing and selling off a hype hit that subscribe button right below and i stream four days a week you can ask me any question that you want and get the free discord link where all the stub making members are at but today we're going to go through a simple way that you can always make sure that you generate a lot of stub now first you're going to go into your collections every time that you do new programs in the game new conquests in the game is stuff that you might have forgot about go to your stadiums go to your uniforms even if you have these all the way completed come back and check and look for duplicates because every time the market goes up and down you have more value in there. So if you find duplicates, you're gonna be having a free 15,000 and sometimes even more. So right here, we don't have any duplicates, but we go to the throwbacks and we come down here and scroll through. Give yourself five minutes, go in there and you can see right here, boom, 1979, an extra 1,970 stubs that I might have not even realized was in there. In there, 1975, always do four to five stubs. Boom, that's an easy sell that we just made. You're gonna come through here, go in there, and some of y'all is gonna have more duplicates than others. There's another duplicate. You can come through there real fast and find 20,000 stubs hidden in your inventory. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna do 1894. I'll always do five stubs underneath. I don't do 100 or 200 stubs and lose profit. I'll always do about four to five stubs underneath. All these extras that we have right here is gonna be a super fast five to 7,000 stubs in like 45 seconds, 1540. Put it up for sale, boom. We just made four to 5,000 stubs super, super fast. The more duplicates that you have, the more stubs that you already have in your inventory. Next, we're gonna get into hype selling, okay? So next, we're gonna get into hype selling. If you come right here to my inventory, you can see on roster update, which would be this Friday, I always do hype sales. So you have certain cards like this, but 1,500 stubs you can buy them for. Look on the right hand side where it says sell now is your best friend. 1,500 stubs, he's an 84 overall. How he is performing in real life can equate to making a lot of stubs. So if you turn around and look at another 84 overall, same overall, if you were to get him at quick sale value, this Emmanuel Class A, you can sell him for $31.50. So think about it. If you buy an 84 at quick sale at 1,500 stubs and you're selling them for over 3,000 stubs, that's 1,500 profit on each and every one of your investments. Now, the perfect example of that would be 83 overall Austin Riley. Austin Riley, he's an 83 overall. If you were getting him at the last roster update, he was very, very cheap. You were able to get him for 16 to 1800 stubs. Now, I have 65 of them saved up. You buy them, you forget about them, leave them in your binder. When roster update week is coming, like right now, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can sell them off a of hype. Now, I have 65 of them. He's going for over 3,000 stubs if you are paying. 12 to 1800 stubs you are making 12 to 1500 profit now 12 to 1500 profit 65 times 65 times 1200 is how many stubs put it in your calculator and boom your stubs start to add up and then you start doing that for more and more investments even the higher 86 overalls 
you get cards that are performing in real life and you pull them out of your conquest or free packs you can save some of the higher performing cards because this 86 overall in three to four days might turn into an 88 overall and then the quick sell changes okay so if you come right here to quick sell you quick sell one is 3750 a diamond is usually 3000 quick sell so this one has a 750 stub value compared to a regular 85 now when you got certain diamonds like this 85 overall will smith right here I think he's been performing good enough to get an upgrade. So instead of me selling him for his 85 overall quick sell value, 3,000 stubs, I think that he's gonna be doing a little better than that. I think he can go up to an 87 overall. So the 87 overall quick sell is gonna be a little better or I can sell him for almost 4,000 stubs and that right there will give me another 800 to 1,000 stubs over just quick selling the card for the 3,000 stubs. So you gotta know how the market works. Manny Machado, 88 overall. He deserves to be a 90 overall, not looking at the inside edge. He's going for 6,900. If you were to quick sell him, he's going for 5,500 stubs. I think he can get a plus two. That would put him at a 90 overall. I think he can get to about the 10 thousand range so when i pull him i forget about him leave him in the binder and then before you know it he gets that upgrade and now i am making even more stubs off of a card that i got for free a good starting point if you never did selling off a of hype would be this 84 overall dance b swanson what you are looking for if you are buying him for 1500 stubs that will be the quick sell price but right now, 1632, you are looking for him to go to about 23 to 2400 stubs. 90% of the community is looking for 84 overalls to go to diamond. Everybody doesn't have the potential to turn diamond. So some cards, you have to be smart. If I pay 1500 for him, I have 37 of them. Got them all at quick sell. 1500 stubs all i'm looking for is for him to get the 2380 2400 stubs and i'm gonna sell off all of them i'm not expecting for him to get to 3000 like austin riley who has just been having an incredible season i'm looking for about a 650 to an 800 stub profit off of this dansby swanson it's a no risk method because you are spending 1500 stubs if he doesn't go up or move guess what turn around quick sell them back for your 1500 stubs take that and invest into another card that you can find for cheap like the class a's like the austin riley's but have the potential to go up and make you a lot of stubs okay so francisco lindor is another investment with that same type of hype method you were able to get him for very very cheap at the roster update and now you can sell him for almost 3,000 stubs making a potential 13 to 1400 stub profit on each and every one of your investments remember check your inventory see if you have duplicates if you want to invest into somebody right now JT Romalto jump on the train for a thousand stubs he should get a plus two to plus three this roster update and you can turn around and sell him for 22 to 2400 stubs in the next three to four days after the next roster update and you will be making a lot of stubs that's over a 1000 to 1100 profit on each investment yes sir get them stubs baby